Canada's East Coast is the heart and soul of our country's seafaring history. For more than 50 years, Irving Shipbuilding's shipyard has played a part in shaping that history, building and repairing ships and marine structures. What we're most proud of is our work with the Government of Canada. We've built over 80% of Canada's current naval combat fleet. Most recently, between 2010 and 2014, nine midshore patrol vessels were constructed and delivered to the Canadian Coast Guard. These new ships, each named in honor of a fallen Canadian hero, are larger and faster than the current vessels being used to conduct maritime security missions on our coasts, seaways, and Great Lakes. And seven of the Canadian Navy's Halifax-class frigates, originally built by Irving Shipbuilding, are undergoing refit and modernization to enhance the capabilities of their weapon systems, radar, command and control, and other systems. This program will wrap up in 2016. The successful bidder for the combat package that will build the large vessels for the Canadian government, combat Irving packages. Shipbuilding. The 2011 announcement of the awarding of the National Shipbuilding Procurement Strategy, known as the NSPS, was the beginning of an exciting new chapter. What a great day for Nova Scotia! One that will transform our economy and our naval fleet. This 30-year program is a great responsibility and will generate opportunities for shipbuilding trades, suppliers, marine professionals, and education and research partners in Nova Scotia and across Canada. Today, we celebrate the first of many milestones in achieving the government's commitment to build ships here at home. It strengthens the future of Canada's shipbuilders and it will benefit many suppliers across this country. And this is a team that will deliver! Today, we are completing the modernization of the Halifax shipyard as we prepare to build Canada's new naval combat ships. When construction is completed, Halifax shipyard's new assembly and ultra hull facility will be 47 meters high at its highest point and 408 meters long, making it the largest single building for constructing ships in North America. This $350 million investment will ensure it is one of the most modern shipyards on the continent. Our new outdoor land level construction point will be where final ship assembly takes place before ships are launched into our natural deep water harbor. Construction is also taking place in Dartmouth, Nova Scotia at Marine Fabricators, our new steel fabrication facility. This is where new ships are born. Steel is cut, kitted, and then moved to our state-of-the-art facilities at the Halifax shipyard but new facilities are only part of our transformation. Building new classes of ships means using globally accepted construction processes, investing in the people and technology that underpin it all. We are equipping current, returning, and future employees with world-class tools, technology, and processes to deliver best value to our customer and to Canada. Our Arctic Offshore Patrol Ships program team is underway with the design, engineering, modeling, and supply chain contract to deliver AOPS, the first set of new combat vessels for Canada's Navy. These vessels will be responsible for assisting and enforcing Canada's security in the Arctic on a variety of missions, from seaborne surveillance to boarding operations. Steel cutting will commence September 2015. Around 2020, Production of up to 15 ships will begin as part of the Canadian Surface Combatant, or CSC, project. This massive undertaking will replace our current fleet of destroyers and frigates with vessels capable of meeting multiple threats, both on the open ocean and in complex coastal environments. This rejuvenation of the Royal Canadian Navy is the most intensive and comprehensive period of fleet modernization and renewal in peacetime history, and one we're proud to be a part of. As we move forward with this epic undertaking, we must always be mindful of the health and safety of the hardworking men and women who make it happen. We uphold the highest safety standards for our employees, both on land and at sea. Our world-class dedication to health and safety and environmental excellence has been recognized by customers like ExxonMobil and Sea River, 
and organizations including the Provincial Workers' Compensation Board. We're a team and we look out for each other. Nothing is more important. This generational opportunity will benefit people, companies, and communities across the country. More jobs, more spending, and more investment. One of our responsibilities is to make the process efficient and provide the best value to our customers and to Canada. Hundreds of suppliers in Nova Scotia and almost 2,000 companies across Canada have registered to work with us. And we have already begun to award contracts to suppliers for the AOP ships. Getting on the registry has allowed Bronzework to grow. We have opened an office here and we're looking to bring in more people on to support the NSPS and Irving. We're looking forward to the future. At Irving Shipbuilding, we understand our responsibility as a major employer and driver of economic growth at home and across the country. Canada's Industrial Regional Benefit Program ensures that we spend 100% of the value of our projects inside Canada. That's dollar for dollar going to support our economy. So when there is no choice but to order our panel line internationally because a comparable part isn't built here in Canada, that's an investment we must make up under the Industrial Regional Benefits, or IRB, commitments. A recent example of the IRB program at work is the investment in PEI by GE Canada that created 50 new jobs. As one of our AOPS Tier 1 suppliers, GE Canada builds the sensors and electronics for drilling ships for export at Aspen Kemp on Prince Edward Island. And a $1 million donation to the IWK Healthcare Foundation is driving research into the effect of medication and treatment of cancer and blood disorders in children. We've helped to refurbish and enhance the Berman Zebrafish Lab. Zebrafish are a perfect organism to examine and monitor cancer development and treatment. As part of our NSPS commitment, Irving Shipbuilding is participating in a legacy program for the duration of the project. We are proud to be a part of the marine industry and are committed to growing this sector and ensuring that it is sustainable for generations to come. The NSPS will create 30 years of stable employment, ending the boom and bust cycle in the shipbuilding industry and creating a legacy of skilled workers and technology that will benefit companies and industries across the country. An apprenticeship program is already in motion and in partnership with the Nova Scotia Community College, we are also implementing a plan to train a new generation of skilled workers with a particular focus on underrepresented groups to ensure that the shipbuilding industry is able to meet Canada's needs for decades to come. Our working relationship with Irving is vitally important to the success of the college and the success of our graduates. We're making sure that the skills that they leave NSCC with are the exact skills that the Irving shipbuilding industry needs. Global experts in combat shipbuilding and engineering are coming to Nova Scotia for this unparalleled shipbuilding opportunity and to hone the skills of our homegrown experts. Together, they're creating an even more dynamic approach to shipbuilding. These lessons will be passed on to each successive generation of employees, strengthening our workforce and our global competitiveness. This is a once-in-a-lifetime, long-term employment opportunity that will change the face of Nova Scotia and create jobs across the country. And our team is ready to take it on. We're moving even closer to start construction on a brand new class of Canadian combat vessels for Canada's Navy in what will be the most modern shipyard in North America. We're looking at every one of our processes, our procedures, our systems and our skills, IT infrastructure and training, a lot of training. We're looking at how we build ships based on the needs of the customers, the new facilities we'll be housed in and the standards we must meet. And indeed, we're benchmarking ourselves against the best in the world. And we are ready. We certainly understand that a responsibility as big and as important as building Canada's next combatant vessel comes with the need to work that much harder for Nova Scotians and Canadians at all levels and getting ready for the long span of interesting, challenging and steady work into the future. It is indeed a great day to be a shipbuilder.